vaulting is now in the test server. Welcome to Climbing Simulator 2017. You can set jump, which will do crouch or vault, or do jump only or vault only. Let's just do jump only so it doesn't mess up. Even if you crouch jump, it still breaks the window. Yeah, see, if you get to this position, say I had a gun, I could just lean and be on the ledge here. It would still break the glass, but I'd still have somewhat of a spot. If I already had the glass broken, then this would be a nice advantage, right? Icon kill feed. Turning this on will change it so the kill feed, rather than appearing in the bottom left, will start appearing in the top right and will be in symbols rather than all spelt out in text. Yeah, see, in the top right, now you can see the kill feed up by the uh, thing. I think you can get through these little tiny windows now, too. Yeah, you can. That's so crazy, man. Wow, it seems to turn a little sharper as well. The brake sound, uh, sound as well is kind of neat. Whoa, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is nuts. This was all just open field before. Oh, wow. I like I did like a landing right there, too. Whoa, this is some thick-ass forest. Oh, right there, right there. I see him, I see him. Oh, that guy just killed him. Somebody has a suppressor right out there. Right there. Whoa, that recoil's nuts. Oh, he had a Groza. All right, we got some tangos up ahead. Here we go, boys. I think I see one of them prone all the way at the top there, but I got to get in the zone. Suppressor right up here. He's shooting at that vehicle. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. They changed the ADEX as well. Check this out. Use the scroll wheel. And you can adjust the ADEX's zoom. Every time you ADS, though, you have to reset it. That's kind of weird. I'm not actually in the circle here, but I think that rock might be. What? How do you have so many frags? What is going on right now? Whoa, look at the smokes. That looks different. Killed them, so the final guy's over there somewhere. I see him in the bush. <laughs> Whoo! Nelly! What up, test servers? I'm feeling fresh! So I've put a few games into the test servers now, and I think vaulting will have as big of an impact that we expected. You can use it on small windows to jump through where you couldn't jump through before, and it makes the entire window jump process more reliable. Plus, it now breaks the glass, giving you an audio cue if you hear someone doing it. That was not the only change though. Something you couldn't tell from the gameplay is that they changed the ballistic system as well. Now the projectiles will actually be affected by drag, more like real life and will slow down the farther that they travel. This means that you will need to account for more bullet drop the farther the targets are away. They also tweaked the weapon's accuracies. 
all of the weapons being now more reliable up to 300 meters, but especially for SMGs. And past that, they're going to be slightly less accurate. They've also changed how the damage works. In particular, the neck now is protected by your helmet where it wasn't before, and shooting limbs like your arms and legs will now do less damage the farther it is away from your body. So hands and feet shot are gonna do even less damage than it was before, previously maxed at a 50% damage reduction. Sounds to the vehicles have also been changed, and you heard some of that, but they mentioned it's not final yet, although they all seem to be quieter, which I think will make road tripping nicer. Only the UAZ, though, got an extra tweak, that being you can now only seat four people instead of five. We also saw the tweak to the 8X and 15X where the scroll wheel will now zoom in and zoom out. I love it. But the red dot holographic sight and 2X you can now also use the scroll wheel for. However, this just affects the brightness. The UI also got a tweak besides just the kill feed option, being able to put it in the top right. The backpack will now always show you what the maximum total capacity is, how much space you currently have room to carry, and how much you're actually carrying. And if you hover over items, you can see in red what the difference that they'll make to the uh, inventory is. One of the biggest issues on this game lately, though, has been the cheaters. I've heard a lot of reports from people saying that cheaters are now being put in the same games as each other, although it hasn't necessarily been said here. I think that's a good strategy because they'll keep on using the cheats, but they'll just be with a bunch of other cheaters. The goal with that, instead of just banning them and then buying a new account, they'll instead spend hours cheating with a bunch of other cheaters, not really affecting much. But what they do say is they've reduced the overall cheating by 25% and the extreme cheaters by 50%. Now, I don't know the exact definitions of what they're saying for extreme versus standard, but they're aware of the issue and hopefully they can come up with fixes for whatever these issues are or these exploits rather than just continually banning them as these players seem to just be buying more and more accounts. Generally with updates of past, we would have one day of test server, the next day it would release on the live ones. However, with this, it doesn't appear the game is running very stable. They're getting a lot of issues with crashing. They even mention it in this post and they mention it's only gonna be available for three days. So it's unlikely at the end of this that they'll be releasing it to the full servers unless they do get everything stable by then. The game has been announced to be releasing December 12th for Xbox though and I've seen so many people hyped for this. So hopefully everything is set and stable for that. But even farther down the line, of course, we have the new map that's in progress. We've seen some screenshots of this. What's even more exciting is players have data mined this test server and found files of what is potentially the new mini map for the new map. And it definitely looks legit, as well as a skin for a new gun and the jet ski. Keep an eye out for more information dropping on this, but I am very excited for a new map, as I'm sure you guys are as well at this point. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is Stonemount64, over and out.